it up. I need to give you guys my coldestwater.com shout out. Please check out this website, you guys. Buy a bottle, you get 10% off the entire order if you use the promo code SLAY. And I just want to say thank you guys for the people that have bought this bottle. I have definitely gotten the emails Let me know that you guys bought it. So thank you. Love you guys. <laughs> what up, y'all? Today I want a big, juicy steak. And I'm going to go find one. I had one the other day. It was a small, like about like that, quarter house. It was off the chain. It was the first time I ever made um, a steak in the, the boiler part of the oven. Y'all, my mouth is just watering thinking about it. I cut up two onions because I love onions with my charcoal steak. That's all I've been thinking about since I ate that. That was Wednesday, Wednesday morning. It's Friday now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go find me a steak and cookie. Simple. That's all I want. I don't want nothing with it. It's with a big steak. And I think I'm just gonna make it into a little video, so stay tuned. I think, guys. Then again, I don't know what I'm gonna get into today because I just don't know yet. So stay tuned. We'll find out. Hey. What up, y'all? I got my steak. Okay, I got another porterhouse. I went to the Piggly Wiggly with my mother. Uh, that's a whole nother video. But anyway, got me another porterhouse. A little bit bigger than the one I had before, but I just, I got it. I got the broiler going, y'all. It ain't gonna take me long because I'm, I'm a little hungry. I haven't eaten all day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get together. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. That mama of mine. <laughs> that mama of mine. Mm. So I got a little water in here. Probably should put some more. Don't need some butter. But I'm gonna wash this off. I gotta hurry up because I got the oven on and it's already warm outside. Actually, it's nice out there, but it's... I'm gonna wash this off and get it cooking. Ooh, this is much bigger than the other one I had. Good. Much bigger. Ooh, yes. This is much bigger. Much bigger, y'all. Much bigger. So I'm excited to have this damn steak, okay? Now I'm going to season it up the way I like it. steak not too much um i'm gonna put some of this adobo season on there a little bit a little bit okay there you go All right. and uh some black pepper i'm gonna put a little bit of this crushed red pepper too y'all just a little just a little bit all right so the rest Black pepper. Last time I didn't put no salt at all on my steak. None. And I love the way it came out. Might put a little bit on this one. Then again, I'm away. I could always add more. But yeah, guys, we went to Piggly Wiggly, me and my mother, in Sockville, Wisconsin, because we thought that maybe they would have everything I needed, right? Like as far as alcohol, y'all know I'm, I'm always on a mission to get me some damn alcohol. I need alcohol in my life. Just go up a little bit. Then I ain't gonna be able to see it. Oh shit. 
Y'all be alright. Okay, so let me get these ready. Ooh, yeah. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's a lot of pepper. It's a lot of pepper, y'all. Well, let me help you out. I didn't get no butter out. I didn't take no butter out. Mm. I didn't take no butter out. Butter. I need salt. Okay. Okay, I got that onion. But so I'm going to need this one. Because I love onions on the damn steak. I'm getting up out of here too, y'all. This is hot. It's hot as hell in here. Back here. Oh, shit. It's Okay, I'm dripping. I'm hot, super hot. Fresh leaves off. I'm gonna put my butter on first. I'm gonna put my butter on first, y'all. Some butter. Definitely gonna have some butter to stay right there. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Let me take a little drink real quick. Go ahead on in. This butter. Put this butter on here. So I put it on mine, y'all. Like a lot of butter. I know that's bad, but shit is good for this damn steak. Show is good on this day. Okay. I need to go in there, get in, get in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Now, cut these onions up, and that's it. That is it. I'm gonna cut a lot of onions up in mine. Oh, shit. I don't care how they cut, as long as they. Go on here. Get in here. I've been wanting another steak since since I had the one. It's my cousin funeral that morning. That <laughs> that steak was so good. It was just so damn good. I couldn't believe it. Like I'm gonna give you another steak. Ooh, it's a lot of honey. <laughs> it's on here, God damn. It's a lot of onions, so I know I'm gonna have to open them up because I want them to get crispy. Crispy onions, yes. Crispy onion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give it to me on my charcoal steak, okay? Any time, any day. Give it to me. Get in there. Can't even really see the steak, y'all. So many onions on top. <laughs> it's okay. Because I'm gonna eat them. I'm gonna eat them. Okay. Now, wash my hands a bit. Let this go in the oven, y'all. Got some other things to talk to y'all about while it's cooking. Got some things ain't working out right for me, y'all. Some things ain't working out right at all. And y'all know me. I got to talk to y'all about it. Let y'all know what's going on. Ain't sugarcoat nothing. I'm gonna tell y'all what it is. So, this one to go in the broiler now. So, oh shit. Get in. It's in. Get in. Do your thing. Do your thing. Hope it ain't gotta cook too long. Oh, I gotta take it. Hope it ain't gotta cook too long. Shit. It shouldn't. I'm gonna take this garbage out, y'all. I'm gonna take out my garbage. Ooh, it's full too. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean out this kitty litter. I need to clean out the kitty litter, y'all, because I'm seeing some nets around here. I hate bugs, hate nets, hate bugs, but I'm seeing some nets around here. And I hate them. Anyway, uh, 
take too long. It shouldn't take too long, y'all. And I'll be eating me a big old juicy steak. Can't wait. Okay, everybody. Stay tuned in for that. Yo, when I come back, I'll be ready to eat. Okay, y'all. <laughs> uh, the roomy issue, okay? Uh, it's starting to get on my nerves. Um, at first, everything was cool. You know, the first week or two, two, um, I didn't have to say anything about do you have the money or nothing like that. She would just leave it on the table in my room or whatever, whatever. She pay every week, guys. Okay, she gave me $100 a week um, to live here. And I guess I'm just starting to feel like, because I know this is true, it takes more than just paying the rent to run any, anybody's household. I mean, you have other bills that you have to pay, meaning the electricity, because it's been hot. I got air conditioners, fans running. I have to have that, you know, um, but I'm not the only one here indulging in that. So... I just feel like that's starting to get on my nerves. Um, and then it's just the cleaning thing, you know. This house is big, okay? And my spot, y'all, mostly is in my living room right here or in my bedroom. That's where I be at the most in this house, okay? So, I, I do the front part of the house and I asked her to do the back part. Kitchen and bathroom. My, my bathroom's so little. You know, very tiny. But um, that's all I asked, you know, for her to keep clean. And today I came home, you know, right before I made this video. You know, it's a few dishes in the sink. Not a lot, but it's just that it shouldn't be any. Like, she's still here right now. She's back there in her room with the door open. And I'm like, damn, you know, I got to go and clean up a few dishes and you've been here literally. I know she had a doctor's appointment, but she came back and she's been there all day. Like, I know she have to go to work or whatever, but honey, you know, um, you live here. So I want some feedback from you all. Let me know if y'all think she getting over. Cause um, at this point I'm starting to think so. And then I, let me just go back to food. She ain't bought none. She ain't bought no food, none. Okay, um, I had a lot of food. For all the people that watch my videos and saw how I was stocking my freezer and stuff up, there's still a lot, a lot of food in there. And it's just me, so it's been in there for months and yeah, I do need to eat it up. But all I'm saying is, she has been eating here. She has, this is her third week here, and she's paid her $100 all three times. First two times I didn't have to say that. The last time I did, and I kind of didn't like that for the simple fact, it was her nephew that got killed and everything, like I told y'all in the video. But hey, y'all know I just lost my cousin too. And death don't give nobody excuses or stop anything because life goes on. Okay. So, yeah, the day she was supposed to pay the rent, she just ran, ran out. And we talked that morning. That was crazy. But she just left anyway didn't say nothing about when she was gonna give it to me or anything and i don't feel like i really should have to ask like you know that you're staying here okay so y'all um, I'm, I'm trying to be cool you know um i'm not gonna snap y'all i'm not gonna snap that's why you know i do talk to y'all let y'all know what's going on i'm not gonna snap yet okay uh yet But um, you know how them little things can add up though, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying only a few dishes, but then they should have been clean. You've been here all day. Come on, y'all. So I think it's after six o'clock in the afternoon, in the evening now. Okay, damn. Uh, I understand she's working them 12 hour shifts, might be tired. I get all that, you know, which is why I don't say anything, but I have said something about the food and she told me that she wanted me to write a, a list of what I wanted or whatever and I'm like I 
don't do that, you know. I pretty much just go get what I want when I get ready to get it. Because I do. That's, that's, how, that's how it is. I don't make a list for myself. So, um, we had agreed on a certain amount of money for food. And this was agreed upon, I think, the first week. Could have been the second week, okay? Um, but all I'm saying is I was supposed to get $100 extra for food. And mind you, she don't eat a lot. She really don't eat that much. But what she has been eating the three weeks she's been here has been the food that I've already paid for. So I'm just saying I still pay for that. <sighs> Y'all, I know what it's like when you want to help somebody and um, do the right thing, you know. But sometimes I just sit back and wait and see what's going to happen, you know. And that's what I've been doing. And that's what I'm telling y'all now. Mm -hmm. Because I ain't going to be this nice. I'm not going to remain this nice. I know me. Okay? I know myself. So, mm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it takes electricity. It takes cleaning up as well. You got to clean up. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. It's not to talk about her. But, um, she didn't clean that room when she moved in there and it was dirty because that was the cat's room hair all over and stuff and she never cleaned it so she moved in it she just put her stuff in there that's it and um i think it was maybe a few days ago when i swept and mopped the entire house i started up in here dining room my bedroom the kitchen back in the hallway. I did all that. Swept it. Then bleached that shit. Y'all bleached it so tough. My eyes was burning so bad after I was done. I had to put Visine in my eyes and wash them out with, you know, a cold towel. It was it was that, but uh, I'm a stickler for, you know, sanitizing, you know. And, um, you know, I just see that I'm the only one up in here that's like that. And that ain't cool because we got a whole virus issue that's still going on out here. And I'm always mindful of it. That's why I went with my mother today to go out to Sockville, Wisconsin, looking for uh, Lysol and alcohol. And that's why I went because I figured a suburb, hey, I may find it. And um, they didn't have it at that Walmart, but Piggly Wiggly had the Lysol. My mama had made me so mad, y'all. <coughs> she had started nitpicking telling me I wasn't parked in between the yellow lines in the parking lot of Piggly Wiggly and I clearly was y'all she kept telling me to turn the car a little more to the right and I just couldn't understand why she was saying that because I know how to park the damn car in the parking space anywhere so she started nitpicking to me I started getting on my damn nerve I went on in there got my little steak and I came back to the car she was still in there but she rushed me out of the first store we was at y'all in walmart she rushed me out of there because she had the dog in the car and she was worried about him but she rode with me obviously but i'm just saying like we got in there and she was rushing so go to piggly wiggly went what i and got what i was gonna get came back out and that was it but then she in there taking a long time okay i done took hammy out the car and walked him around a bit and on the phone and everything okay but she was rushing me then she come out saying well they got some lights off i'm like i came all the way here because i know she wouldn't want to wait for me you know to go back in there and get some lights off so either i gotta find out how to get to this place on my own so i can do my own shopping because i don't like being rushed you know doing anything not just shopping, but any damn thing. Don't rush me. You know, I don't like that shit. I like to work at my own damn time. And that's it. So, anyway. <laughs> yeah, y'all. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try to humble myself. Okay? And not snap. I did a good job, though, you know, with my mom today. Just got quiet. <laughs> you know, dropped that lady off and left. That was it, but... 
this lady in here, uh, she got to do some things, y'all, you know. And, you know, all you do is tell a person. And I feel like I'm not the type of person that should have to tell you more than once. But I have to tell you more than once, your stuff gonna be downstairs. That's, that's how it is. So, give me y'all feedback. Let me know what y'all think. Um, do you think that just paying the rent if someone is living with you is enough when you clearly know you have other bills okay and other things that they use like i said the electricity okay Whew. anyway uh let me go check on this state back there i hope it's done because i i need to turn that up and obviously it's warming here but stay tuned so i just checked on the steak and i, I hope it turned out right um, this is only my second time cooking the steak in a boiler, and uh, I, I did put a little water in there and the butter, so I'm just hoping that it's not too much liquid in there, because I need that steak to be searing. So, that's the way it's going to get charcoal broiled, so maybe I put too much liquid in there. Too much, I should, probably shouldn't have put that water in there and just probably used um, the butter, because the butter would have kept it sizzling. You know that water might stop the process a bit so um, i hope not i turned it up but anyway i'll be back as char broiled as I wanted it I actually had to go back and make sure my onions was more oh y'all let's let me just taste some shit I've been wanting this steak since Wednesday morning oh I don't, don't want to stuff my face I'm gonna cut small bites y'all oh, your mouth be watering for something let, let me try it mmm <laughs> You gotta have a burnt onion. Man. Mm. 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 Damn. Whoa. Y'all. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. It's so good. Mmm. Damn, y'all. Wow. That women's rash would be so fake. Oh, that should be so fake. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Damn, y'all. Mm. I'm hot though, damn. I'm not trying to spray it back on. Mm. Ah. I don't know what's going to make my steak. Get cold faster. But I don't care. Damn. Mmm. Damn. Mmm. Y'all. Mmm. <laughs> Damn. White onions are sweet too. I love them. Oh, I love them. We're all in the bottom. number of onions right here, y'all. Mm. Damn. Really? Smell oh, fucking good.
Come on. They crispy. Come on. There we go. Oh, y'all. Uncle Macy called me and uh, told me that he wants to talk about his life. Okay? And y'all know I'm all for that. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember or not, but my uncle Michael, the one that was gay, my uncle that was gay, passed away. I think it was last year. It's only been over a year, I think, guys. If it wasn't last year, was it the late the year before? But Michael had a story to tell. He knew he was dying. And he wanted to tell his story, so I let him. For the ones that remember that, that was uh, part one and part two. And the family was mad, y'all. They was mad at, at both of us. Michael said some things, told out some family secrets. And then, like I said, they was mad. The family was mad at both of us for a while. We didn't care. Especially Michael really didn't care. Mmm. 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 Damn, y'all. Mm. Yeah, I know I don't eat a lot, lot, but. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm. I can't wait till Uncle Macy tell the story, y'all. It's, it's sure going to be a story to tell. I'll tell y'all that. Because Uncle Macy was a, a gangster. As long as I've known him. Period. Period. Okay. So I know with him being sick, it's taking a toll on him. That's probably why he don't want to stay still. I mean, moving around all the time and stuff. You want to old people's house. Everybody's house and stuff. Mmm. Hair flying shit. Mmm. Mmm. The onions are sweet. They're sweet. Damn. Mmm. Mm. Oh shit. Yeah. I'm so good. I'm mm, done. Crispy. Crunchy. Mmm. Crunchy onion. I'm getting full, y'all. I really am. I'm getting full. I'm finna be through. Mmm. But yeah. <laughs> I hope we do tell the story, because I'm gonna tell y'all one story right now. <laughs> now I don't know if he's gonna tell y'all this or that, but I'm gonna tell y'all. <laughs> I remember in Chicago. South side, I can get y'all that dress because shit, that, that place is probably gone by now. Maybe it ain't though. 1908 South Sawyer. That's where my family lived at. Me and my brother, my mom, and my dad, we was living here in Milwaukee, but we would go to Chicago on on uh, in the summer. You know, spend time with Raynette and our other aunties and uncles and grandmother and grandfather. And Remember one time, y'all, on that block, but at the end, at the end of the block, right in front of the Icy Cup house, and 10 cent Icy Cups and shit, y'all, Chico sticks and stuff. Oh, that was the days, y'all. But anyway, the police had, they had Ronnie, Uncle Ronnie, and Uncle Macy. <laughs> I would never forget this shit in my life, y'all. Uncle Macy wasn't going to jail, okay? He, he just wasn't going. Y'all, and, and he was handcuffed. Keep in mind, he was handcuffed, okay? 
all of a sudden, my uncle just broke. He ran, y'all. Handcuffed because he was tall and he was thin. Quick. He hit it on the police, y'all, and got away. Handcuffed. <laughs> I'll never forget that now. They had Uncle Ronnie. He didn't try to get away, so he went to jail. Uncle Macy wasn't going to jail, so. <laughs> I don't know what they did or whatever, but I just, I will never, never in my life forget him. Him running the way he did. That shit was funny. It was funny to me then. I was a kid, you know. But I hope he's serious. I'm going to tell y'all. You know, his life story is going to be good. I might find some things out that I didn't know again. That's cool. I'm with it. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to go. I enjoyed my steak. Y'all know I'm going to be eating off this thing tonight. I ain't going to lie. Probably tomorrow, too. Probably tomorrow, too. I'm going to do it. Oh, hold on, here go. Here go. Piece. Good piece to get. Right here. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna get this piece, y'all. The onion. That onion on there. Okay, y'all. Shit. Get on there. Shit. Okay, y'all. This is the last bite. I'm gonna let y'all have some. Ooh. It ain't even focusing. Oh well, that's okay. Mm. Man. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Thanks so good. Mm. Anyway, I'm out, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. <laughs> Stay tuned in for the next one. Take it easy. You know, I ain't even get no damn thumbnail down. It's too late. Let me see if I can get a thumbnail. Should I eat? Well, I ain't eat most of it. I should be able to get one.